Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the scoreboard plugin. Now this is a really simple but easy to configure plugin which allows you to create these custom scoreboard and headers which you can see on screen now and they are animated as well which looks really cool. So you can make it display a variety of placeholders like ping, location, name, rank etc. You can really customize it, it's very easy to do and overall it looks awesome. So you can see on the right we've got a couple of different animations, this is what it looks like by default. So let's go ahead and jump into the config file where we can change all of this and customize it. So here we are on the SMPitnik control panel and we want to go into the scoreboard folder. Once in here you'll see four YML files, we've got the main config, the scoreboard, the tab list for the footer and the header. So let's go into the config first of all. So in here is going to be a variety of things. So obviously scoreboard true, you want it to be activated. Tab list, you want it to show text and ranks, yes or no. If we scroll down, we've got all of the ranks here. So you can obviously add uh, more ranks depending on how many are in your server. Then we've got the time and date format here. And then do you want a notification if there's an update and do you want auto update it on or off? So that's pretty much everything uh, for this config file. So here we are in the scoreboard.yml and as you can see we've got each line and each animation. So if we look at the first one, this one just says scoreboard and a different colour just runs through it one letter at a time. And then we've got the wait time, so it'll be 17 ticks per line. Um, so that is in ticks, not seconds. And as you can see, one second is 20 ticks. So every 17 ticks it will go to the next line and it creates a cool little animation with the colour running through the word. Then if we go down, we've got all the other lines, so you might have a gap, so there's nothing on line one, for example. Line two, we've got another cool animation with different colors and a word being spelt. If we scroll all the way down to five and six, we've got all of these pieces of information which you might want to know, so how many players are online, your ping, your score, etc. And then we've got all of the placeholders here, so you can see player food, saturation, date, time, name, blah, blah, blah. So it's really cool how much information you can give to the player using this. So if you go over to the Spigot page over here, you can see it is updated, well, 39 minutes ago actually. And it works on 1.8 to 1.16. And here is the uh, German section. So if we scroll down, there is the English section. And you can see here are all the placeholders that you can grab. So the percentage, whatever the placeholder is, and then another percentage, and that will grab that piece of information and display it. And then obviously if you've got any suggestions, you can PM the developer. But let's go ahead and customize one of these. So up at the top here, you can see I've changed one of them. The wait time is now 23 seconds. And I've just made a really simple animation of server miner changing colors, very simple. And if we go ahead and save that, and then we will look in game a little bit later, what that looks like. Then we have the tab list for the footer and the header. So if we jump into this, we'll have a quick look. This is very straightforward. Um, so we've got pretty much the same stuff. We've got just various placeholders and it will say what, what it means above. So here we are back in game. So what we need to do is forward slash SB, that will show us the commands. SB info will give a bit of information about the plugin, so the version and the author. Then if we do forward slash SB reload, that's going to reload the config file. And if we look to our right, Scoreboard changes to server miner and you can see our little animation where it goes from kind of gold to blue. So that is the plugin. If you're looking for a scoreboard plugin, I'd highly recommend this one. It works really well. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.